Well, we all know that Kitty enjoys Toastmasters and she exuded the energy and the passion that she has for it and what it can do for each one of us, what we can do with that new talent. And so it will be my pleasure to share my notes with you today. We found her to be inspiring. She was convincing. She had a call to action, so I think that that was very well done, and you were knowledgeable. So first I need to condign you for an excellent <laughs> Glossophobia. I'm feeling a little bit of it right now. <laughs> but, seeing your confidence up here, I feed from that. And that was good. Fear of public speaking. I think everyone has it. And with practice, as she mentioned, we can all become better at that. Knowledgeable. We gave examples of studies made at the university. Other examples that I failed to note here. But you gave several. You were convincing. Uh, anybody that will give me the YMCA body and arm, <laughs> you got my attention. And so you had good body language. I am struggling to find areas where you were lacking. So I apologize if I don't have many examples of your failures that are very convincing. <laughs> You drew me in, and I was sold. Everyone in the room was sold when you provided us the staff of cards. I looked around and saw everyone. As soon as you mentioned, they're looking for the cards, and they're grabbing the cards. So want to grab the staff, of <laughs> and that's what you were hoping to get. So very, very good job. Inspiring. You inspired us. You cited the opportunity to give back by becoming a Toastmaster and being able to maybe become an officer. There's a lot of support in the room. And that call to action as you uh, were meant to be as a mentor. You uh, want to be warm. You mentioned to be warm to the new guests, and I think we all are. I know that I also experience that warmth, and I still do every day, so I appreciate you especially on that. For that. Mm -hmm. And that would be my review of your speech today. I think it's a 